the artist Michael Zotos, uh, the outsider artist who puts his work uh, in public where people can see it, and I usually put it in the nicest areas that I can. People come upon it by themselves with other people they know, and sometimes a person will come out and, and be looking at one of my pieces or a few of my pieces, and then other people come and see it. And it's like a social context to it. Even the fact that it's all around on the east end of Long Island, um, th there's a social aspect to that. And um, when a person sees it, there is uh, an experience to, to being a part of that. And I think that's very important. Okay, later on in life, when they, they come across one of my pieces, they can revisit that feeling, okay? And in addition, there's the fact that a person never knows who else really did examine my piece and have their own feelings and experience for whatever reason or why. And um, that, that, that makes it interesting also. It adds to the social aspect. Uh, and I think it's important. Now, this particular piece right here is one of about a dozen that I had at Duck Walk Vineyard on uh, Eastern Long Island at Watermill for about a year. What happened was in 2014 I created a uh, display of the dozen pieces just dancing around kind of. Look like they're interacting with each other, of course they're inanimate, okay. But um, I put it on the front yard of Duck Walk so that you have to walk past it and see it to get in the the building. It's a wine tasting place. It's a winery, okay? And people go in there, do tasting and all, and as they're leaving, they pass it again. And a lot of people come out there. Sometimes there would be big buses, two or even three big buses come out from the cities, from Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, okay? I think the Hampton Jitney would be there, okay? And people would get off the buses, pass by my pieces, a lot of times they're like in a bit of a hurry, they have to get to the bathroom, they've been on a bus, okay. But um, on the way out, they pass it again, and they, they, then they interact with my pieces. They, they, sometimes I see them like with their arm over and somebody taking a picture, uh, selfies, pictures of each other. Um, and that, that's an experience. Now, sometime down the road, a year or two or four years later, when they come across my pieces, they can again revisit that experience. And I think that's very uh, significant. Now, across the street from Duck Wharf is, is a, a pumpkin picking place called Hank's Pumpkin Town. It's actually the biggest pumpkin picking uh, patch on Eastern Long Island. Hundreds of people show up every weekend during the season. And um, they bring the whole family, okay? Two and three generations. And they park on both sides of the highway, and, and there's people walking all along. And they are also witnessing the pieces. They're also um, experiencing these. And I think that becomes a part of a person's history. And uh, later on in life, when they come across my work, or uh, if they own a piece of my work, they can revisit the same um, feelings. And I think that's a very significant thing. I think it's important. And it's very gratifying to, to be a part of that.